Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at my guitar parts for songs off the album, Revivals in the Air. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough of the parts first, and then we are gonna do a full playthrough with the track. After this video, be sure and check out Jonathan Lee's parts for this song. You can find the link to his video in the description below. In this video, I'm running through my full pedal board as you've seen it in my rundown video, stereo out into my AC30 and ProSonic, which are isolated in the other room. Be sure you check out my store after this video where you can find all of my Strymon presets that I used on this album as well as other albums. You can also find Line 6 patches that include song specific Helix patches, camper profiles of my amps, and I have some fractal stuff coming soon for the FM3 and Axe FX uh, at the time this video may already be up there. Uh, if you're watching this at a later date, we'll see. I also have impulse responses for the Iridium or whatever takes IRs uh, for my amps and a lot of different cabs. So check those out after this video. If you find this video helpful, please be sure to leave a comment, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new and ring that bell so you get notified of new videos. I appreciate all the support to the channel and all that YouTube stuff. All right, so let's dive into the song. All right, so taking a look at revivals in the air, Get ready for a marathon on this one. This one is in the key of A at 127 beats per minute. I remember when we were doing pre-pro for the album and we got to this song, we had never heard it, and we just heard a demo of it that was just the keys with that beautiful piano melody, uh, vocals, and Luke Skaggs was doing uh, his awesome violin fiddle work on there. So we, we got in the studio and started throwing paint at the wall and just trying to get inspiration, see if anything stuck idea-wise. So we were just jamming with the track. And oddly enough, this line was kind of the first thing that I played. And I don't know if you've ever experienced playing in worship or spontaneously uh, or in the studio where you feel an inspiration for something, an idea, and you just go there and try it and it just works and feels right. That's kind of what this line was. And I didn't initially intend for it to go throughout the whole song like it does, but whenever I tried to stop playing it and play something else or come up with other ideas, nothing really flushed out and it just felt like this needed to be a theme that kind of floats in and out of the mix throughout the whole song. So that's kind of where it ended up and that's a little backstory of the part. So for this song, I'm playing my Fender Strat and I'm primarily on the neck pickup. I am on the neck pickup the whole song and uh, the only thing I mess with is the tone control. On the intro, it's rolled off and then I open it up for the rest of the song. I normally use these Dunlop 88 millimeter picks, the green ones, but for this one, I used the one millimeter. And I just found the extra um, thickness and stiffness of this pick really helped to bring out a tone I liked and I found uh, it was a little more sustainable to play with this actually. You kind of had to do a little bit less work and the pick did a little bit more of the string moving. So that's a little tip, something you can try with picks. These affect tone. So taking a look at the intro, I am running a spring reverb with a delay and then I'm running my light speed on. I'm also running my neck pickup and I have the tone rolled pretty much all the way off for this little intro piece. So the intro sounds like this. So the main line goes like this, playing it slow. So as you see, it's a simple and pretty repetitive pattern. The only thing to note is the whole line is plucked, except for that one spot where it descends. So there's a little pull off there. And the rest of the line is just alternate picking. One thing I recommend when you're picking it, even when you're changing strings, keep your hand rolling up and down and up and down. Don't reset when you have to change strings. Uh, that'll make it a lot easier and more fluid. So I always start with a downstroke and then always follow it with an upstroke. I never go down, down or up, up. It's just always down, up, down, up, down, up like this. <laughs> Learning it and practicing it that way will help you to play it up to speed. So the big thing with this song is really just getting the endurance and the timing down, which is something you just gotta practice. Um, 
Again, I didn't intend it to go the whole song, but it does, and it's fun. It's fun, it's challenging. So moving on to the next section, our effects are the same, except I roll my tone up, and the verse sounds like this. <laughs> So without effects, it's pretty simple. The next section opens up just a little bit and has the same effects, so I will play it. So breaking it down without effects, uh, here is the first shape, second shape, the third shape, and fourth shape. And then you just alternate pick them. So moving on to the second interlude, this is where the marathon of that line starts. Uh, I switch over to a different reverb, a cloud reverb, and I switch over to my Kilt V1 from the light speed for a little more gain. And I have the tone almost all the way open on the Strat. It's still dialed down like a number or two, just kind of dialed to taste. If you have a Strat or something with lower output single coil pickups and it feels harsh or really bitey, don't be afraid to grab the tone control and just kind of tune it to taste, dialing it off, even a number uh, can sometimes really help. And often on this guitar when playing the bridge, I'll, I'll slightly roll off the tone and that just makes it a little more even sounding. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid of the tone knobs on your guitars. So here is how the line sounds with these new settings. <laughs> So that is pretty much my tone for the rest of the song. There is a part later in the song where I kick on the boost uh, on my kilt, and that sounds like this. The only other part of this song is a little run that I do in a few different sections of the song, and it sounds like this, up to speed. So breaking it down slowly without effects, it sounds like this. A couple of things to note there is that we are skipping from the D string to the B string, and I'm keeping my alternate picking going down, up, down, up, down, up the whole time. Like I said, that will really help consistency and timing of your articulation and your picking. So that's pretty much it for the parts. The biggest thing is just take your time with those lines, practice with a metronome, practice slowly, get it really clean, and build up the endurance to play the whole song, because uh, it is a marathon. And here's a playthrough. Receiving all that you died to give Let the wind blow Let the tide roll To the earth know you're a god of love Let my dry bones Sing a new song All the glory To the god of love
God of love. 